Hello, everybody. Welcome from the studio um, for our new show, The Money Couple. We're so excited, starting at the beginning of the year, and uh, just super excited about it. Yeah, the it's Money awesome. Couple. We just it's taped. on Money Talk. That's right. Which is, I have to look at this real quick. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk. So it's 1690 AM. I have the 1690, but not the, just remember 1690. AM. And then AM. And then on the FM side, we're going to be on... Um, 94.7. 94.7, the word. That's right, 8 a.m. Saturdays and 7 a.m. for Money Talk. So please join us there. We just actually taped five ways for the risk taker to help the non-risk taker in the relationship. Let them take risks. Let them take risks. It was cool. So it was. It, it was, was really cool. So fun. And we've got the email of the day and just yeah. so fun. But we are excited today to be talking about three solutions to stop holiday money fights. Holidays are here. They are here, aren't I know. they? No, we are in the middle of, actually we're a week out from Christmas. I know. How did that happen? It's crazy. What happened to 2018? I don't know, but All right, so anyway. point number one. Our point number one is make, make a, a plan. Oh, go sorry. Ahead. I go thought ahead. I was doing number go one. Go ahead, Okay, sweetie. great. <laughs> so this is one that Beth and I have actually in the past really struggled with because we're both primary spenders and so we just we love Christmas. We live for Christmas, but we... Spenders love to spend money. Oh, but we but they were huge gift, gift givers. givers. So we would give gifts to everyone. And so um, for us, we actually had to make a plan and said... And the big one was what we were going to spend on each other and what we were going to spend on the kids. Because the kids... And I can get out of control with spending money on the kids and spending money on Bethany. So for us... We really actually had to make a realistic budget and say, okay, we are going to stick to this. Yes. And we're four years into it. I'd love to say we've been doing this for 20, but it only took us 16 years to get ready to yes. actually stick to that plan. And now we're sticking to the plan and all the, uh, there's no, there's no really big surprises. Money surprises are the worst, aren't they? They are. They the, I just noticed the camera angle. It makes my eyebrows look absolutely gigantic. <laughs> it kind of does. Wow. Wow. Look at those, those things. big ones. Hmm. Oh, well. My eyebrows are not that big. Okay. Sorry. All right. Well, okay. it is kind of a weird angle, isn't it? It is okay. just kind of looking down. All right. This next one I love. This is another tip for how to make sure you don't have money fights. And that is something that we call stop, drop, and roll. When you feel, remember when like you were a kid and you learned what stop, drop, and roll yeah, is? Yeah. When you were, your, when your body was on fire? <laughs> it's kind of weird. Spontaneous combustion. <laughs> stop, drop, and roll. Kind of weird. But anyway, yeah. um, it's really important to do that. But during the holiday season... Did you say it's important to stop, drop, and roll? Yeah. When, so, to, in order to avoid a money fight. Oh, I thought you were talking about when you were on fire there for a second. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, I guess that is handy if you're on fire. <sighs> so funny. Okay. <sighs> so stop, drop, and roll. So how is stop, drop, and roll going to help you not have money fights this year? Okay. So when you start to feel, like, really irritated with your spouse, which... Doesn't happen often, honey, does no, it? No, it doesn't, poop a bear. <laughs> um, you stop, okay? So just stop. So you feel kind of your blood pressure going up, you're ticked, just stop, all right? Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Just stop. Okay, drop it. Just drop the topic, whatever it is. Out of sight, out of mind for That's a minute. right, exactly. And roll out of the room. Roll out you of the room. You don't physically have to roll out of the room, you might get dirty. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, sorry. That's We've been in the fun. studio a lot today. We have been in the studio a lot today. We're kind of like a little... We're a little punchy. We are a little punchy. All right. So that's one way to stop the fight. That doesn't mean don't talk about it. That doesn't mean put it underneath the carpet and never bring it up again. But stop, drop, drop it, roll out of the room, let yourself calm down because that's super duper important. The other thing is, is a really great way to bring up the topic of whatever's bothering you is to say, and not when you're ticked, but say, can I just talk to you about something that's just really bothering me? And, 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 and if now's not a good time, you know, can we maybe talk about it maybe tonight or tomorrow? That will give the other person a little bit of warning. Especially for you women out there, this really works well with men. I mean, that's not really a money personality difference, just a women-men difference. But they, oftentimes when you catch men off guard, they're... And that's probably true for anybody, but defenses go up, but they just get really like they don't want to talk about it. So yeah. if you kind of give permit, ask permission, this is something that's been bothering me, it will really help not escalate it into some big, big old fight. What's the third one? Honey? I love number three, and that is be aware of each other's stress level. Oh, okay. Give the example of Cole and Cade today. Stress. Oh my oh, goodness. This is a it's great last, example. Last morning of finals. Oh my goodness. Oh, are you kidding Those me? Those two 
getting them ready for school and out the door, I, I, my stress level went up because yeah. they're str- I couldn't say anything right. I couldn't yeah. say, hey, you know, have a great day. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> have a bad day. I don't know. Oh, they were so but stressed. Our, our whole family's been stressed this week just because of, of finals. But so kids downstairs at the breakfast table, and he just, he looks mad. And he says, I said, what's up? And he said, well, we were supposed to go to 7-Eleven. That's our end of the week routine and close up study. This is the last day of school today. Yeah, we've got to go. And I'm like, dude, he's got an anatomy test. Be aware of his stress level right now. The poor guy is stressed out. And and it didn't help at all. But (laughs) at least I said it, right? (laughs) So if you're parents out there, you know, half the stuff we say. Most of it doesn't stick, but maybe some of it will. But but actually, he didn't bring it up. Yeah, he didn't bring, he didn't it, up bring again. it up. So, no, okay. he didn't. That makes so, me feel no, a little that bit he better. Did. That's but good. you really do have to be aware of people's stress levels and being cognizant of that. So, like, if we're stressed out about the holidays, or we're stressed out about spending, or we're stressed out about what are we going to do for dinner tonight? Are we going to, you know, it's nine o'clock. It's after a basketball game. Are we going to go home and make tacos? Which was her plan, which is not going to happen. Oh my gosh! Um, okay, so yesterday, Cole, Kate, no, Kate, Cade was in a basketball game. Double overtime. Okay, crazy. Double overtime. Unbelievable. This was a JV game. He's a freshman. Pretty proud of him on the JV team. But anyway. And he suits up for varsity. Yeah, he does. He suits up for varsity you too. You play it, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But anyway, but so this game just kept going on and on and on. Well, I was going to make dinner. I mean, come on now. Oh, no. Scott's leg. Oh, we're not going home and making dinner. We are going out. So Because it's just, of the stress levels. Right. And Everybody, so, we lost by one point after double one overtime. One point. We were ahead by three with 10 seconds to go. The other team did a three-pointer to tie it. It was then, a bucket. Oh, it was crazy. And it was. It was a bucket. It was like, what right. in the world? Right. But anyway, so all that is to say, uh, Scott was stressed. He's just totally stressed. I'm like, you know what? No problem. We're going out. So, yeah. you know, we just have to be cognizant of each other's stress level in this holiday season. That now is probably not the time to talk about big major issues of things that are bothering you. You know, save them. They're not going to go away. Save them for the new year and say, honey, can I talk to you about a few things that are bothering me? That's our tip for the day. All right. Awesome. So it's so great we're coming to you hey, live Merry from- Christmas. Next oh, week we're right. off. The next two weeks we're that's off. That's right. Next two weeks we're off. We'll miss you. No money, love and money live, but we're so glad to be with you. We really want to wish you a Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. And we are so excited about next year. It's going to be great. If you can, check out our Christmas greeting on our YouTube channel, The Money Couple. Hilarious. We did five takes. Her idea. <laughs> Five takes. It is hilarious. Scott is just in rare form. I'm, so funny. I was crabby. Yeah, he was. He was really crabby. He's like, do we have to do this? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I was like, yes. Okay. Well, we love you all. We're so glad you're with us. And as always, make, make it, it happen. happen.